top of the morning to you. Um, we have a little less than eight miles to Bernie. Uh, yesterday we were 0.2 off from doing a 30 mile day. We did 29.8 trail miles. Um, technically with the side trail that we took to Subway Cave, it puts us over 30, but I guess it doesn't count. Uh, so that's cool. That was my longest day yet on trail. Uh, I'm excited to do some 30s and uh, the high 20s. So yesterday it was really hot. It was like in its low 90s for most of the day. Um, and we had some water carries throughout the day as well. And then, so we were hiking. I think we stopped about four miles from this road that we camped at. And I was like, let's go a little bit further. Let's try to do like close to a 30, let's do 29. And um, then we'll be within like eight miles to town and that will be a good narrow. So we did and we were just so hot and we were saying how we wanted cold drinks and we got to the road and guess what there were? Cold drinks. Um, Coca-Cola's, chocolate milks, and then there was a water cache that it was really nice. Um, way better tasting than a, a water tank and that was just super uplifting. We ended up seeing uh, running into Sobo again. So we had hiked with her just a little bit before. Um, and that was really fun seeing her that we finally caught her because I've been looking at the trail register all day trying to catch her. So that's fun. I'm really excited to get into Bernie. Um, I'm excited for a shower and laundry. And most importantly, food. So can't wait. Back on trail about 30 minutes ago or so. Uh, we got a really quick hitch out of Bernie and now we're back on trail. We are going to do a 13 miles today. Camp right before this little climb that we have that we want to hit in the morning. And then we should be in, uh, what is the next town? Dunsmere, uh, Tuesday morning, pretty early. Uh, we could definitely push and get there Monday, but we would either have have had to leave earlier today and then more miles, or we would have had to do like some low 30s um, consistently for the next three days or so to get in Monday or something like that. So we're going to kind of take it easy per se and do like 24, 25s for the next three days and then have like a Nero into Dunsmere on Tuesday, or we'll do, we'll camp right like at the road or something Monday night and then hitch into town on Tuesday. Regardless, we'll probably get there Tuesday morning. Um, my sister's birthday is July 29th, which is uh, this Monday, because it is Friday, July 26th right now. And her name is Alicia. I just wanna wish her a happy birthday, um, even though this will be even before her birthday and will come out after her birthday, but just thinking of her, thinking of my family and not really excited to be hiking in the, in the like mid nineties for the next few days. Cause it's supposed to be really hot. Um, Hat Creek Rim or Hat Rim Creek was really hot past few days, um, week and a half, two weeks have been pretty hot during the day and that's not very nice but got to do what you got to do to make it to Canada. So doing that, uh, yeah. So it's kind of like our little schedule. We're um, going to take a zero, a plan zero in Dunsmere. Uh, so we'll kind of have most of Tuesday off and then take Wednesday off and then it will be August 1st and another month down. So today is my four month trail anniversary. Um, I'm really excited to get out of California and hopefully we can crush Oregon and crush Washington and crush it all and get to Canada because I am ready to get there, I think. But uh, I still want to enjoy everything while I can, too. So, all right. To Bernie Falls we go.
Which way is it? <laughs> so we made it to our tent site tonight. Not really a tent site because we're going to cowboy camp. Um, there's really only one spot and this is it and it's like slightly flat. Um, the rest is really rocky. And then down there, ooh, wait, can you see it? Um, is the bridge and water. And so we're at Rock Creek tonight. We did about 13 miles. And then we stopped at Bernie Falls, like right before five o'clock, stopped in, got a cold drink, and then we ate our dinner on a bench and looked, watched the falls for a little bit. And then waited for some of the heat to die down. And then hiked to here. And yeah, right now it's pretty nice because the wind is like blowing a little bit. It's a little bit cooler because um, the sun finally went d um, down over the mountain uh, and it feels good. So cowboy camp tonight, hopefully right now it's windy that no mosquitoes will get us, but yeah, feeling... <laughs> okay, bye. Saturday, July 27th here. Uh, I'll be honest, this morning, I don't really feel like myself. Uh, my head kind of hurts, and I think I have some kind of head cold. Um, so I just feel like congested, and my ears kind of hurt. And I have a headache, so not the most fun thing when you're walking, but I'll be in town in a few days, so maybe it will mull over by then, but we'll see how today goes. We're not doing too high a mileage, so hopefully I'll be alright. Take some breaks throughout the day. But my throat's just scratchy. I packed out some um, throat lozenges too, so we'll see. Sorry for not being so chipper this morning. I just don't feel that great. So falls smelled smoke <clears throat> a little bit earlier and I didn't really smell anything because I've been congested. But then when we started walking a little bit further, we're probably like, I don't know, like eight, eight or nine miles from our campsite or so. Um, but it started getting we started seeing a little bit more fog, and then if you can see behind, it's definitely some kind of fire. Um, there's a lot of smoke, and it's really hazy. So, wondering if it's somewhere near us in NorCal, yeah, or right if it's here. in Oregon. So. Smoke from milepost 97 fire spreads in Southern Oregon and Northern California. There we five go. Five hours ago. Love being congested. Yay. Sunday, July 28th, and we have done a few miles so far this morning. Um, we're gonna do, we did about 24 yesterday, so we're gonna keep that consistent and do 24 today, um, and maybe 24, 25 tomorrow, and then we'll have four miles into town on Tuesday, or like three miles, or two, who knows. We'll do a really good Nero though, so excited about that. Um, I'm feeling better than yesterday morning, but still not 100%. Uh, yesterday when I got to camp, my nose clogged up and I was congested again. Um, I'm still congested, it's just, I wasn't able to breathe out of my nostrils yesterday night. 
and that's not really fun. Uh, my headache is okay. I just seem to have more of a cough now, so I am excited to get into town and just kind of take it easy and then rest up for a day and not um, not walk at all and just lay in bed. I'm probably going to have some tea, do a little face mask, do a little self-care, and enjoy. So, uh, I forget what I was going to say. We took a nice long lunch break uh, not too long ago, maybe like an hour and a half we were sitting there, which was kind of nice. And we are on our down climb, all the way going down to, it's called like Fitzha Gulch or something like that. So we're going down to there, <clears throat> we're going to camp there and probably soak our feet in the cold water tonight and hang out there. Uh, the deer around here. There's some really funny comments on Guthook, which is like the app that all the hikers use uh, to navigate and stuff. And the, the comments on the tent spots around here are hilarious. Like, it's just commenting about how the deer are like relentless. And they'll basically, someone said that they, one of the deer, like went under their vestibule at night and like dragged their rain jacket and uh, backpack out. And the deer, I guess, I've heard this before, like salt on your trekking poles. And so some deer have been known to like steal trekking poles and stuff. It's just like hilarious. Um, when we were eating lunch, there was a deer uh, that was not afraid of us at all, just chilling next to us for a while. So I just thought that was a little bit funny. New day, new me. I call this look the trash bag on your head look. <laughs> it is so fabulous. Um, it's mesh. It's black, which is totally in style. It regulates your body heat. Regulates it keeps your you body heat. Hotter in this nice 90 degree weather. Already. And it keeps all the gnats away from dive bombing your eyeballs and your nose and your ears in the morning when you're hiking. We are at our tent site for the night, and we're a nice less than three miles to town tomorrow. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We are gonna spend tomorrow there and then um, take a zero on Wednesday. So it is July 29th on Monday, so Tuesday and Wednesday, and then head out uh, sometime on Thursday. And today we did, I think like 25 today or something like that. Um, we've been doing like 24, 24, 25. And really excited to get into Dunsmuir. Um, I'm going to stay at a motel. They have a pool and jacuzzi or hot tub. And I'm really excited about that. I really want to lay by the pool. Maybe get more tan and fall asleep by the pool. That sounds great. And I'm really excited to check out this burger place called Yaks. Uh, apparently has like kind of like a choose your own adventure burger where you kind of just pick the toppings and the way it's made like a veggie burger or a chicken burger or a beef burger and then you can choose the toppings and stuff so that sounds really good. And we're less than 200 miles to the Oregon California border and that is amazing. Can't wait to get into Oregon. 
um, just to get into another state sounds great. And then we're gonna try to do the Oregon challenge. So wish us luck. Hopefully our bodies don't die on us. That would not be fun, but yeah, overall a good few days. It wasn't that hot today because we were mostly in the shade. So that was really nice. And water has been um, kind of like more together today ish. Not really, but all right, I'm gonna eat my couscous in a jar for the fourth night in a row. Yum. <laughs> We have a hiker sporting a nice onion bag for their grocery bag. How sophisticated. Wow. It is roomy, airy, it has holes in it, mesh, but it's way better than a trash bag, right? Yes. And it was free. <laughs> because I charmed the lady. Hi everyone, sorry about today because I took literally no videos. <laughs> um, I couldn't figure out the storage on my phone in town. Usually I upload everything to Google um, Photos, like an app, and that works really well. It's like even better than iCloud because I can delete it and it doesn't like waste your storage and stuff. But I think I had more things on my phone, like pictures and stuff that I just needed to delete. And I went ahead and I deleted some of that now and I'm trying to upload um, more videos and stuff to the Google Photos and try to get those on there so uh, Katie can edit them and make more videos. But yeah, right now we are cowboy camped on top of a beautiful ridge. And Shasta is in the background. And Castle Crags is over there. We did 17.8 today uh, out of town. Wasn't too bad, just a little hot. Ate in a Milky Way. And yeah, we're just a few days to. Where are we going? At now. Um, probably like a week and a half till we get to Oregon. But that's my little update. Night night. I slept so well last night that I did not hear that the deer and ma mice mice were coming through our little cowboy camp spot and the only reason I know that oh, is cause falls <laughs> is cause falls heard the it, deer but I did not hear the deer early, the and then mouse, the mice ate my mice Reese's pieces ate his he Reese's pieces. Eat my shitty dried mango So I'm walking on this ridge and I see this beautiful lake down below to my left and I see all these kayaks and big tents and inner tubes and probably they're cooking out and they're probably having a fire tonight. They're probably making s'mores and I ain't got none of that. Makes me... Whenever I see like car campers and day hikers and stuff, I get very envious of them because they get to snuggle up in their tent. They don't have to walk miles. They can eat whatever they want. Then they can go back home and shower. <sighs> the struggle is real, especially in the summertime when everyone's on vacation and stuff, it's hard not to <clears throat> think about all the family vacations and stuff. So that's one thing that I miss, but Canada, I'm coming for you sooner than later. So I'm in my tent right now 
and we did our longest day, my longest day, and Falls' longest day ever. We did 30.8 today, so we're probably going to shoot for another 30 tomorrow, and then right now we're 50 miles from uh, Etna, so we'll do like a 30 tomorrow, and then we'll do about like a 20 on Sunday, get in, uh, camp, and then stay for breakfast, then head out in the afternoon, be on our way to Syed Valley, and on our way to Oregon, so really excited about that, I've been calculating some miles, um, looking at resupply options and stuff for Oregon, um, and like what we need to do in terms of mileage, and we definitely need to be doing like 34s, um, like mid 30s to do the challenge and stuff, so, uh, wish us luck. And, uh, yeah, it was a really good day for me. I know Falls was, said he said he had the worst day uh, he's had, just, like, physically he hasn't been feeling well. Um, which stings because I think I gave him my sickness somehow. And, but besides that, for me, it was really beautiful today. It was, like, the perfect weather. The terrain was really nice, and it wasn't, like, dripping hot today, so... That was super nice. Uh, so yeah, excited for the next week and just definitely excited to get into Oregon. Um, excited to keep on keeping on. So good night. We have a gorgeous morning in the mountains. And there is no wind, um, nice and comfortable. It is August 3rd, and I wanna make a shout out to my best friend, Katie, cause it's her birthday. Um, not to get mixed up with the other Katie that I was hiking with. Um, shout out to Katie. Uh, we've been friends since college. Shout out to Slippery Rock, Pennsylvania. What up, Western Pennsylvania? And I hope she's having a great day. I think she's flying actually to California today or tomorrow or yesterday. Um, she's going to go to Sonoma and Napa. So a little jealous. Sonoma's beautiful. And I wish I was sitting at a vineyard drinking wine right now. So <laughs> hope you have a fun day. Wait to the top of the second climb. So beautiful today. A little bit breezy, a little sunny. Oh, it's perfect. Made it to camp. Did our longest day yet. 31.7 miles. Whoa, 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 whoa. Getting ready for Oregon. We're coming for you. We'll, we'll be in Etna tomorrow. Only 18.3 miles in. Get there in the afternoon. Hang out, eat, and relax. Overall, good day. I did see a baby bear today. I saw its little furry butt run away from me. Um, it was like off to the left. I was, I heard a bunch of like sounds in the brush and then I saw it like kind of like jump and then it just kind of ran basically down the mountain. Um, and I just saw its little furry butt, but I didn't see any mama bear, so that's good. And also I lost my smart water bottle cap today in the water source, so that's fun. Yay. Hi, 
friends. Good morning. It is around 10.15. It is August 4th, Sunday. And we're probably only eight miles from Edna, so that's exciting. We just took a little snack break, filled up some water, and the rest of the day, the whole day has been kind of like pointless up and downs, just like going up and down for no reason. Uh, and we have just a little bit more to go, uh, to go like up and down and then to a junction and then we go down to the road that we're gonna hitch from. So today has been really pretty, gorgeous. Um, the views lately have been really wonderful. Um, layers on layers of mountains with like the blue and yesterday we went through I think it's the Trinity Trinity Alps and there's a lot of like Rocky Mountains and still today uh, I think we're in like the Russian wilderness right now and uh, it's really beautiful I'm excited to get to Edna um, second to last stop before we head out to Cal or head out of California and it's exciting stuff should be to Syed maybe on Wednesday or so uh, spend the night in Edna tonight get a burger get some coffee tomorrow morning and then head out uh, like we usually do, I don't know, in the afternoon or so. Exciting. See you in town. Okay, I have a real question for everybody, and if they could answer me or look up this, I'm gonna look it up in town, so maybe it will be too late, but I'd love to know your input. So, Falls and I were talking this morning, and we saw horses on the trail yesterday, and it's not the first time we've seen horses, obviously, it's open to equestrian riders, and I think that's really cool. I love seeing horseback riders out here, and I think that's a really, like, cool, another neat way of modes of travel. Um, what I think is interesting, however, is that they just poop in the middle of the trail. Like, they literally just take big dumps in the middle of the trail. And, like, the PCTA and, in general, like, leave no trace principles... It's like, we have, like, us as humans have to dig our cat holes and put our poopy away in the hole. Um, and it's the same, I've read regulations about dog crap, too. And you're supposed to pack out dog poop as well, or try to bury it. Um, but even they say dog poop, you should kind of pack out in certain areas that are, like, more susceptible for waste problems. Because I think something with the, the pet waste is a little bit more acidic or something. I don't know, someone fact check me on that. But I want to know about horse crap and why it's okay to just let your horses poop in the middle of the trail. I mean, I get it has like hay in it and stuff and maybe it's not all that bad, but I don't know. Like, what about the poop basket thing that you can put on your horse? Why can't you do that? Why, why does it have to poop in the middle of the trail and then all of us hikers have to avoid all the poop? I don't know. And then it's, because there's all the regulations about poop being too close to water sources, but horses just do it whenever they want. And I've seen horses poop near the water source all the time. Someone please help me. I need to know about this horse poop. Thank you. Bye. Stretching.